Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. So today, as you can see, my setting is completely different. But I think you've seen it before if you've been watching me for a while. Uh, this is my favorite spot in Holland. I do a lot of biking here. You probably know that if you know me. Um, in Winnipeg, I did a lot of walking here. I do a lot of biking. So I am at my favorite spot. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I don't think there's anyone around here at all. I just see like two people over there like way in the parking lot, pretty far away. And other than that, there's just some birds and like ducks and stuff like that. So it's a beautiful, quiet day. And I have brought with me my box of fridge decants. <laughs> fridge decants, I leave these decants in my fridge because when I don't, they ev evaporate very, very quickly. So when I leave them in my fridge, I have them here. When I leave them on my fridge, they evaporate very slowly or not at all it's like so slow that i don't even notice it so i just thought i'd bring them with me today and just do some sniffing with you guys maybe just some quick sniff and uh i don't know i'm just gonna wing it and see uh what i want to talk about let's talk about hmm i have a lot of chanel stuff in here let's talk about <laughs> chanel number five edt so I have been meaning to make a video about the Chanel fragrances in particularly for quite a long time. I just haven't gotten around to it. And maybe it's kind of on purpose as well. It's because I do struggle a lot with Chanel fragrances. It's kind of like a hit and miss kind of house with me. There are some fragrances from the house that I think that are absolutely like top of the line fantastic smells great classics classics um but to me my favorites from the line are chanel allure edition blanche chanel allure homme edition blanche and i also really like chanel sycamore from the private collection i think missia is also really great coco noir is fantastic on my skin and I think those are the ones that I really, really love. But on the other side of the spectrum, there are just so many of the fragrances that I think that, for me, they just don't work on my skin. I know that Chanel Number no. 5 is like... Oh, sorry, there's one more Chanel that I really love that I don't talk about a lot. It's the Chanel Number no. 19, uh, the EDT or the EDP. I think both of them are great, but if I were to choose, I would choose for the EDP version. Anyways, that's for another video, but uh, as I was saying, the most popular fragrance probably of the entire, of all time, is Chanel Number no. 5. I have the EDT version here. I have tested it before, but I'm just going to quickly test it again on my skin and let you guys know what I think about this. And I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down with this video because um, it's not... It's not going to be a positive um, review. <laughs> it's not even a review. It's just a quick, quick sniff thoughts on this fragrance. So Chanel number no. five. I'm going to apologize. And, no, I'm not going to apologize. I'm just not going to apologize for my opinion on this. I really, really do not enjoy Chanel number no. five at all. I've tried it so many times. I've tested it so many times also in the shops. I know that a lot of people love the fragrance. If it works on your skin, that's fantastic. I'm happy for you, honestly. But for me, on my skin, it's so sour. Like just as soon as I spray it on my skin right away, I get this really sharp, sweet, like a bitter sweet sourness on my skin. Ugh, and it's just so unpleasant, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a sour sweetness. It almost, it's like borderline, and I hate to say it this way, but I'm just going to say how I feel about it. It's like borderline, almost like cat pee. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know. But um, I hate to use that reference, but that's what I'm reminded. That's how, <laughs> of when I smell this, especially in the opening, that just sharp sourness with a little bit of pea smell, a little bit of a sweetness as well. And it's just to me really, really, it does, it's just really unpleasant on my skin. It's not something that I would want to smell of. Um, on the other hand, I have smelled Chanel number no. five on other people 
and it smells really great um, mostly as like a sillage kind of thing a scent trail uh, but just like up close when you just smell it like this on my skin it's just so <laughs> sour and I just don't enjoy sour sour smells on me it must be the aldehydes or something that reacts with my skin but I just don't I can't do it no well that's the worst thing about it though but when it dries down on my skin it gets a little bit better that sour cat pee kind of smell does dissipate a little bit like it's still there very faintly though so it does calm down and then I get this sweet soft pillowy powdery smell and I'm not like huge into powdery scents it has to be like a very specific kind of powdery scent um, for it for me to enjoy it but in this I, it just doesn't smell good on me it reminds me of well it does have this vintagey kind of smell and um, I'm not gonna well should I say it that way no I'm not gonna say that that way but I think you guys no I'm not gonna say that <laughs> but it just it just smells very 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 mature on my skin and that's like not an insult to any anyone or your age or whatever but it just smells really dated I, I guess it is a very old perfume but it just doesn't smell good to me and that's pretty much the bottom line and as I said I have smelled this on other people and it smells really classy really elegant just very crisp and put together and it smells nice it has a nice sweetness as I said before but just on me it does not it's like completely not me uh, this fragrance and me just do not mix whatsoever and um, Chanel number no. 5 EDT I would pass on like so easily even though it's like the most popular fragrance ever even though so many people love it uh, for me personally I'm just struggling big time with it and it's not only number no. 5 to be honest there's other things um, that from this line from the whole entire Chanel house that just don't agree with me and for example Chanel Allure for women gives me a huge headache. So that would be my quick opinion about Chanel number no. 5 EDT. I'd love to know your opinion on it. I'm pretty sure all of you love it and you guys all hate me now for saying that I don't but whatever it's just me my opinion and I'll stick with it. It doesn't work for me. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more videos soon. Just stay tuned and I hope you guys are doing well. See you guys. Bye.